I think it's up. Right. Hey! Look at this up, brutal up mighty head, like. shot that the meal's camera is having right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, um, oh, yeah. The, the finger typing. The brutal mighty. <laughs> <laughs> but, mm, you're super right. That is the Bruce Almighty. Uh, All right. So, recording? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> count us up. Oh, my God. Uh, okay. <laughs> recording in three, two, one. Recording. Ten seconds of silencio now. Sync clap in three, two, one. Sync clap in three, two, one. Sync sandwiches in three, two, one. Sandwiches. 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 Uh, so, Rafi, um, yeah. Uh, why do you open bottles with your teeth? Because I hate lychees. What? Speaking They're of, eating. like, speaking <laughs> of fruit, uh, what do you call it? Um, based off your uh, uh, sliding scale of like uh, mm -hmm. things uh, Rafi doesn't like, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. one of them is hairy, right? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, how do you exactly feel about you're going to bring up? Yeah, how do you feel about rambutan? Is is it... rambutan an okay <laughs> fruit for you? Hell no. Mm. <laughs> when when God wanted to curse the earth, like He made too many good fruits, He made like rambutan just to balance it all. <laughs> Like, Raffi only this, likes rambutan naked. Mm. It's so gross, dude. Only when it's disrobed really? already? But even when I don't it's actually, naked? I don't actually remember what the taste of rambutan is. It's been so long since I've been in a room near one. It's so but like, like, it's like have light you felt a rambutan? Like yeah, they're, it's gross. They're kind of pleasing to touch, aren't they? No! Without the skin, without the fur. Have you tried no, no, with the fur. With the fur is fun to touch. <laughs> Yeah. Have you it tried putting like in your cheek balls. or being in your no, cheek? No, no, no. That's exactly what I hate it's about spiders. That, thing. that is wait, the wait. most... Yeah. By, by that logic, like, mm. what about dogs? Dogs are hairy. No, that's... That's fine. Dogs are fine. As long as they don't like, look like rambutan. Fur, 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 uh, uh, fur, is, fur is kind of good. Like, I just remember, like, oh my god. I'm... I'm 100% no joke. I'm freaking myself out. <laughs> Why? What's happening? Thinking, thinking about like hairy tarantulas. Why? Why we didn't you... even bring that up. Yeah, I know. We, we that's, even... that's where my hmm. brain goes. That's where my brain goes. Okay. That's why I shaved my head. I can't think of the hair. <laughs> oh, man. Speaking of like, like, um, <laughs> Migs and I like, like, hmm. uh, uh, ended up playing Apex again recently. Yeah. You cannot play oh, that yeah. game anymore. You what? cannot. We, 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 we discovered something. They put Icky. ickies. They Not... sold out to the ickies. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Damn it. That spider dude. money was too good, ha, huh, EA? What the fuck? Dude, like, Migs and I were escaping from the circle, right? And we found mm -hmm. a cave. And it was like, oh, this is the perfect place to hunker down. So we hide in the cave. And then suddenly a bunch of players were coming near us because the circle was closing, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we had the perfect vantage point. We had the cave. We had cover. It was great. Yeah. And then suddenly all of the red rocks inside the cave started exploding. And we were like, those aren't red rocks. Those are spider yeah, eggs. Like... <laughs> and then... Gross. And then we were overrun yeah. with spiders. And then we were like, no, oh, Rafi uh... can't play this game anymore. Yeah. Do it's they deal damage so to you? So many. Yes. Yeah. Oh they're, my god. They're like the like... NPC prowlers. Mm -hmm. like, like the animal okay. prowlers that you see in the game. Mm -hmm. So oh. they added spiders for some reason. And we just discovered it. And it was... Um, uh, it, it, it 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 was also sus, like the cave that we got, because at first the people didn't follow us through it mm -hmm. because they know they knew it's a spider cave. <laughs> we didn't and, know it was a spider cave. And, and then wait, when wait, we wait. saw the the red rocks, we I was like Emil, that kind of that kind of looks like pus. You know what I'm saying? That kind of uh... looks like icky blobs. And um, when we yeah, when we tried to hunker down. Like suddenly the game decides to give us spiders. Yeah, so it's, it's, uh, it's not a pleasant thing. We're we're e warning you now. I, mm. e even mm. we were freaked out when it happened. Yeah, really? I think I I think you can still play it. We just avoid caves, right? Maybe yeah. what level you of will icky stay? We talking about real there's, icky, there's there's three three levels, real spiders. icky. 
Yeah. Real like, spiders? Like hairy. spiders the size of uh the size of dogs. They're not hairy, but they're spindly. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're uh, oh, wait, I'm not I'm not gonna show you how the <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate how this group really understands me. And like yeah. <laughs> like you, you work around this this one weakness. And I think one of the kindest things that y'all have ever done was uh from Miggy. Like he edited the whole Mandalorian episode. Of Mandalorian. Episode. <laughs> He had, yeah, yeah, he downloaded the Mandalorian episode where there are tons of, of spiders. He made like a Raffi cut where he <laughs> cut around all the spiders. At the end of the at the end of the episode, <laughs> it was just a bunch of cuts. But I'm like, oh mm. my god, I appreciate. There's not even a single <laughs> leg. It's just Mando <laughs> just tripping about in the ice yeah. cave because all yeah. the spider that footage is gone. Could have been better if instead of just cutting it, you substitute the spider scenes with bears. That would like be too much, dude. dude. That would be too much. That's an entire Skyrim. <laughs> that's mod. that's more yeah, work yeah. than just cutting out the bugs. <laughs> that's Maybe some corridor digital baby. shits. <laughs> that's yeah. some corridor digital nonsense. You mod out the actual thing <laughs> with in oh, Blender. <laughs> um, yeah. So I guess with that, welcome to the Good Trades Brigade episode. 101. Ooh, this is ooh, this is the Dalmatian number. Arf, arf. Ooh, <laughs> God. I was about to say, isn't that like the basic, the basics class, like biology 101, yeah. science 101? Yeah. yeah, that's why mm -hmm. like uh, Dalmatians 101 was like the the starter course for understanding Dalmatians. There's always oh. like some freaky lady trying to kill them. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's what. Yeah. That's essentially what what. Uh, you got there. Yeah, welcome to the Dalmatians episode. Woof, woof. I'm your host, Rafi Graffiti, <laughs> for, for this episode. And right above me, the Cybertronian dream, uh, Migoy. Some, some <laughs> robot sounds. That was close. That was close. That was close. I, I'm I thought, slowly I becoming the start, one. It was like, get, 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 down, get, get down with the sickness. With the <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. Not in these trying times. Yeah. Oh, don't don't get down to this. <laughs> don't please, no, please no, don't. It's bad. It's, it's uncool. Bad. Yeah. Do you want to be uncool? Don't get down yeah. with the sickness. That's right. Stay cool. Stay cool. Stay healthy, as Emil likes to say. And Emil is the person right next to the Cybertronian Dream, our fish master podcaster. Never sick. Never surrender. Uh. <laughs> That's, never a, sick. that's a good galaxy quest. Never sick, never surrender. <laughs> One of my famous sayings. Hello, my name is Emil, and like I always say, what's important is that we look cool. <laughs> Especially yeah. in front of girls. In front of girls, you have to look cool. I love how Rafi yeah, yeah. pulled up a famous quote from my favorite uh, lawnmower guy, Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Uh yeah, to health and beyond says cheesy chimps. Uh, he, uh sure. he always says this. Uh, right in below the name, him. In mm -hmm. the name of health and beyond, you shall be avenged. Yeah. Oh God, he always says that, doesn't uh, he? Yeah, he's... another Galaxy Quest thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how he opens his. Anyway, uh... happy to be here. <laughs> there it is. There's the real ha catch phase. Uh, we should all be happy to be here because this is the one hundred first episode of the Good Trades Brigade. Uh, I'm not gonna loop back into the the thing, but yeah, this is where we punch each other with stories, and everyone takes damage. Um, and this Ooh. time we're trying out a new, stronger, faster, and most importantly, harder format. Oh, how hard! Yeah, <laughs> very, very hard. Um, we could compare this uh, to to the Reacher series, where mm. um, the old good traits is the Tom Cruise Reacher. Just, eh. <laughs> but this this new format is taller and uh, mm. more violent. Taller and, and it, more violent. It makes it makes sense. Taller and more violent. It's true. I yeah. I actually really want I really want to know about this. Like uh, as you know, I'm a big reacher rat. I'm a ratcher. Uh, <laughs> I've followed many of the books. I, I've read many of the books, and it's one of me and my my one of my best friends, uh, Gino's way, where we bonded oh, okay. during OJT. Uh, we used yeah. to read that stuff um, uh, back in college in our yeah with our with our uh, job where because because we were law dudes, right? And seeing this guy like law it up sometimes and like investigate <laughs> and all that stuff, we're like, oh, oh we're okay. gonna be like this when we grow up. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
wait a second. <laughs> we'll beat people up in a restaurant. Um, mm, and yeah, yeah like more pie. Yeah, more pie I mean, than usual. Yeah. But you have to sit at the most cornerest of the room so you can survey the area. I don't know if they do that in the show. Um, yeah, they did. That's good. All right. So I think that's a natural segue into your week, my man. Because I know you brought up uh, Jack oh, yeah. Reacher and it's one of the things you wanted um, to talk about. I want to yeah. know. I want to know. How is, how is it? So uh, when this first, like the first trailer came out, we were all like uh, surprised because, hey, who's this guy who's playing Reacher and why is he, why does he look like Goldberg? Why does he look like a big man? Because we were mm-hmm. all kind of um, used to <laughs> The Tom Cruise sized Reacher, which is yeah, apparently not actually canon. Yeah, no. he's, he's he is. Tom Cruise is a small man. Mm-mm. Yeah, we 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 don't need the five five Reacher. We did the six five Reacher, and so yeah, the is. the Amazon Prime Video series Reacher uh, gave us the the most accurate, I guess, yeah. of the Reacher, Reacher Prime Reacher Prime yeah Reacher yeah. Prime from Amazon Prime. So yeah, mm-hmm. this is a good um, series. Uh, so far, if you if if you follow the Reacher stuff, that like like the books, um, this is probably the most accurate one. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it it's definitely most. Um, it's more supervised by the author, Mm-mm. I believe, and uh, it takes place during the first book. So I'm not sure if you if if you read the first book, you kind of know what the like the premise is. But um... so far, um, but yeah. Killing floor. It's... Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm, okay. Um. So far, it's good. Like, well, we finished it. Like, Emil and I <laughs> uh, watched it. Um, my initial impressions were, Reacher big. Uh, Reacher... <laughs> Reacher is big. He is the largest man on screen like, at any like, given time. Yes. Yeah. The first, the first few minutes is that. He was seen walking into the diner, right? And then mm-hmm. he saw someone, like he saw a couple, like having a fight, like like having a his fit. And yeah. he tried to intervene. And then this guy was like, "Hey, what are, you, what are you looking at? What are you looking at?" And then, you know what Reacher did? He just stared at him. And then he's he stared like, "Stared at him." And Yo, then, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I just, I'm just having a bad day. It's, it won't happen again. Bye. <laughs> like this man, this 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 train of a man just diffused the whole thing by just by existing, stare. by existing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's how, how large that's and how in charge he is. That's, that's what that's yeah. what I aspire to do. You know, like <laughs> I watched the whole thing, right, Megs? And like the other thing that like really jumped out at me is how they've turned Reacher. Like, I don't know if this is canon or not, because, like, I didn't, like, read the books or anything like mm. that. I'm not a Reacher yeah, rat like here. you boys. Mm. But Another Reacher. fucking, they, they turned him into Sherlock, but large and threatening. He's just <laughs> Sherlock Holmes yeah, yeah, yeah. with muscles that could destroy you. Like, like if... the, way, the way they've introduced this Reacher man is, like, one of the first scenarios is that he's, like, uh, falsely arrested for something, right? Mm-hmm. And right. he he does these Sherlock Holmes esque deductions based off like someone's shoe, someone's belt, like oh your sleeve is a little bit here, like uh you're mm-hmm. tapping your toe, therefore mm-hmm. you just quit smoking. Like he does this whole BBC Sherlock Holmes analysis on people, and I'm just like, is this how Reacher is supposed to be? He's 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 just Sherlock, but with big muscles. Yeah. Imagine uh, when Professor Plutonium yes. tried to make Reacher, like mm-hmm. he mixed in all the like the <laughs> intellect of Sherlock Holmes and yeah, all yeah, the yeah. like the leading man like uh. um, tropes, but then accidentally he poured in Goldberg and John Cena, <laughs> and that's Reacher. <laughs> like, he, put in, when they... he put in whey protein, <laughs> <laughs> muscle tech. <laughs> the, oh, yeah. the fucking flask drains and it just says whey protein <laughs> yeah whey protein isolate <laughs> shit but yeah, yeah like that's super um, canon that's and thus Reacher oh, was shit. born yeah um, yeah this is it's really hmm. good um what else can I say um I think the like Reacher was played by the dude who played as uh, Hawk in mm-hmm. Titans Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. you know he's a big man, like you know you know, big you know he's a chunky fella. But mm-hmm. um, some of the uh, other cast is actually good, like the 
like the detective who recently quit smoking. That's actually um, an interesting character. He's a good character. Um, yeah. Um, who's that uh, woman? Uh, that 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 police woman that she's also like like that he's also partnered with. Um, that's also good. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Like 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 the entire like Reacher Roscoe. team. Yeah, Roscoe, Roscoe. Mm-hmm. Uh, like the entire Reacher team is all is really nice. Like they have good chemistry on the show, all that stuff, and and I guess like the pacing of the series and 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 the overall plot, which is mm-hmm. yeah yeah based based on the Killing Four, it's really good. Like I enjoyed mm-hmm. it. Um, I I don't know how Emil feels about it, like plot wise, but what it's, you call it's, it? It's it's. It's what? Yeah, finish it. <laughs> finish it. Well, it's, it's serviceable. <laughs> it's it's it has its own <laughs> mystery. Like, um, it doesn't really cheapen out some of the, the, the the plot. Like, I don't know how 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 the books did it, mm-hmm. but so far, um, there isn't that much, um, cop out stuff or feeding stuff there <laughs> like what do you like call suddenly, it this is the mm-hmm. this is the killer or something like that like, they don't do that i'm that much i was pleasantly surprised at how like enjoyable the entire show was but at the same mm-hmm. time uh there were certain parts where i was just like oh yeah this is an american series because like they, mm-hmm. they they explain some things to you some things are awfully convenient but the thing is they're awfully convenient because reacher is involved yeah that's like because very early on, too good. Mm. the show will establish that mm. Reacher will solve a problem because of either his Sherlock Holmes-esque <laughs> intellect or through his muscles. And yeah. Reacher will always say, like, he straight up says to the police chief, yo, I am not leaving here until s- that guy dies. And I'm like, yo, you're talking to the police. Are you... Are you sure you should be saying that? And <laughs> and and then later on, there is a problem, and mm-hmm. Reacher just straight up kills the problem. And I'm like, is this okay? <laughs> He's not. He, mm, is, There's, mm. There are also things where I mean, that's the thing, right? Because it's Reacher, so it's mm-hmm. okay. Like because he's already said that he will kill the guy. Like mm-hmm. there are there are times in the in in the show where he straight up kills the guy. But mm-hmm. lies about it when, she, no when he's confronted by his peers. Like, oh, uh, we got ambushed by these dudes, so I killed them in self defense. But when they <laughs> check the bullet holes, it's on the back. Like, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Shot them in the back, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, fuck it. And it's like oh, he shows up to the scene, like eating some popcorn, and like, oh, he's not gonna tell them about the guys he just offed. And then later on, he's yeah. like, uh, by the way, I, I I got jumped by some guys. Self defense. Self defense. Dead. Yep. And then like it's just like dude, <laughs> you snuck up on them. What the fuck? I know they were gonna kill you, but you snuck up on them. Still that's what the reacher would do. It was a conspiracy to kill him. Now he, he must react. <laughs> like my only the only cognitive dissonance that I ever experienced was like Is this man okay? He will kill again. This man will kill again. And oh, yeah. like <laughs> Yeah, it's like... the body count in this show, <laughs> oof, it's it's more than the two movies combined, I guess. It's pretty dang high. <laughs> and like, fucking, when the whole problem is solved, I'm just like, is no one going to file charges against Reacher? He, he no. like, killed a whole bunch of dudes. What's going on? I'm sure He's they had out. families. <laughs> yeah, they, I'm also, sure they had yeah. families. And well, yeah, just, they, just, they just should have... The, uh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, Rafi. They should have thought of having like they should should have thought of their families before they became <laughs> henchmen, <laughs> useless, useless henchmen. <laughs> but yeah, just to end the the Reacher discussion. Yeah. Um, after finishing this show, I tried watching the old movies again. Mm-hmm. And oh really? It just clicked on me that this is why Tom Cruise is acting like this in the movies mm. because it's meant for a big guy. Mm-mm. Yeah. Like he. Like, that's why like, he's like the Tom Cruise movies okay. make Tom Cruise look like a menacing fella, even though he's just five five. Yep. yep. So it it he's kinda doesn't height. make sense. Mm-hmm. So it's like now that we've seen like proper reacher height 
proper and, uh, mass, like body mass index. I can't understand now. And yeah, like so that's... Reacher size is always a talking point on the show. It's like yep, it's yep. always, oh, uh, are you really gonna do that with this fucking six foot gorilla in the room? Like like yep, fucking like yep, yep. like yeah. they always mention his size. Yeah, like he's guts Built buster like a, sword. Basically. Built like a linebacker. <laughs> those are those are the kind yeah. of phrases that they throw around in the in the book. No, you're absolutely right though, Migs. Mm-hmm. He is Guts's sword. If Guts's sword <laughs> were <laughs> was a guy, was a came to life. Yeah, yeah. If if Guts's sword came to life and like fucking became Sherlock Holmes, that's what Reacher is. I need mm-hmm. to watch Berserk now. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's gonna get me to watch Berserk. <laughs> yeah. Um, All right. Anyway, good. On good my update. Weeks, the yeah, other... yeah. 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 So the other thing that I did was sure. that I I bought Sifu, and I played. Oh, yeah, oh, I've yeah. been um, so interested in that. It is available only on the PlayStation Four and Five, and on Epic Game Store. So no word yet on when they're gonna um, yeah. release it on Steam. Uh, but if you're holding back on, I mean, I just went on and buy it because there's like. I still have like a coupon from the Lunar New Year yeah. sale, so I just got it for like two hundred something, yeah, something like that. Migs convinced yeah. me to get it because of said voucher, which cut yeah. the price by like ten bucks yeah. off a fifteen dollar yeah. game. Five hundred, yep. And the so, greatest yeah. part is if you purchase with that, um, your purchase uh, activates another voucher. <laughs> yeah. Right. Usually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. As, so as you long can as do you're it again. still within the sale uh, period, mm-hmm. I think. But anyway, yeah, I played it. It's really good. Um, it's been a while since we have like a a good martial arts action game. Yeah, I can't um, remember the last one. The last one that I enjoyed thoroughly is Mortal Kombat Shao- Shaolin monks. Oh my god, Shaolin monks! Was that, Holy yeah. shit. Was that oh and my I guess? God. Oh, yeah, because that's actually a good like martial arts brawler, right? And it's co-op, so it's more fun because you have a friend with you. Um, but yeah, this one is sort of like a a, a souls like martial arts game because what happens mm-hmm. is that if you die, uh, you still get to live, but your your age uh, deters. So mm-hmm. you basically it, your age is basically your 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 lifespan. I mean your 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 life in this game. Mm-hmm. So if you get knocked down, um, one year will be removed from your age and then you grow older and older until you're 75 and that's the time that you like conked out uh, permanently and then you have to restart their level um but the interesting thing is how they deal with death here um mm-hmm. because at first uh i thought that you could get back your age by killing people because that's the like the first thing that I <laughs> yeah that's the first thing that I've noticed there oh, there's like this skull icon which is like a death counter mm-hmm. and whenever you die uh, it mm-hmm. increases to one or by two depending on how many times you've died already mm-hmm. um, but that just means that that's the number of uh, years that will um, be deducted to your life so for example their first death death counter is one so from if if you're age 20 uh uh-huh. if you die you will be 21 to, on on the second life gotcha. and then if that death counter goes to seven it's minus seven or plus seven to your age so oh, from uh... 21 to 28 so something like that so that's how they deal with death so you can still like um decrease uh... the death counter by actually taking down um enemies but your your actual age uh, will still be permanent, and it will also carry over the next stage. So you can decrease the penalty of the age increase, the is what penalty. you're saying, mm-hmm. right? But the age you can't really do anything like about. The it. age is permanent, right? That's, and um, I think first... like Rafi is um, because it uh-huh. sounds like when you lose, the mm-hmm. character sounds like he goes away, trains, and comes back older, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's not I that. Thought... It's straight up <clears throat> magic. <laughs> Yeah, like you go oh. and respawn yeah. directly on where you died. You actually but, die. So it's really then... it's it's literally like a continue or a, or a, or a one up yeah. being gameplay like, wise. Though. But like mm-hmm. narratively, does the training happen, or is it implied um, at all or not? 
there is training that's happening. Uh, but yeah, that's the thing. Like, I haven't really finished it yet. So, like, I think there's... I think the question that will really clarify it is: Do your opponents point out that yo, you just aged? What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> is it like instantaneous? Yeah. From what I've experience especially during the boss fights like they will say that oh why are you alive again or what's happening or something like that so so they will uh, see that uh, even though you died you still rise up uh but the so age it's one magic. i have magic like no it's actual thing. magic yeah, it's, it's sort of like magic because oh. they have this mcguffin uh on the game that there's like yeah, you like have this chinese charm that, yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah like a chinese object <laughs> that will uh, grant you multiple lives, I guess, or mm -hmm. continues. Okay. At the cost of your age, so mm -hmm. that's yeah, probably that's probably the thing. That seems like a miss, though. Yeah, it's Would less it cool, ain't the it? Other way around? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Like you. Okay, you beat me this time, and then I, it would be better if, like, it fast forwarded in time, and I, I have now trained, and I will beat you, and all that stuff. Like, that's more in line with the the martial arts tropes. Right. I think it's... with how the story is, though, I don't think that would work because it seems kind of important that you beat this person now. And 10 years from now, they're, they probably won't be here. Right. Also, that, yeah. that like, if it was that way, then the, the goons would age, too, which would they be would a little weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That true. would add some needless complexity, I guess. But it does sound cooler that you just pick yourself up, train, and then come back older and wiser and whatnot. Yeah, that does sound cool. Yeah. I... I wish for a game, or at least like a sequel to to Shifu, uh, that actually does that because that's kind of a, a little bit more cool than like, mm -hmm. oh you you live but you old. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, like, like that, that happens in the game anyway because mm. if you finish a level, your age will carry over. But <clears throat> um, so if if you reach for example, stage two at age sixty, mm. you're kind of fucked up because the death penalty is big, and then you're there's that not much life left for mm. for the charm to give. But at the same time, um, you can actually go back to the level before and redo your uh, your progress. Okay. So that's in a way kind of cheats the the age mechanic. So because you mm. can just go back in in a level that you finished before and just redo and make it. A perfect run so that you are still young at the yeah, yeah, yeah. next level. Well, kind of yeah. optimized. So they have that kind of uh, mechanic. Cool. I, I'm not I, sure if that's intentional because I was really hoping that uh, it must be a hard mode. So it it, <laughs> it should be like uh, there's no like take back seats. You have to be old. Uh, I guess then, it, it uh, works how like you know how mobile games that it allows you to redo previous levels and then keep the best score. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, something yeah, like that, maybe. Mm. Plus, there's a, also That's a true. secret ending that requires you to beat it within a certain age to unlock. Mm. So I guess mm. that's the reasoning also as to why you can do that. Uh, I wish there was a big budget version of this that incorporates like the nemesis system from Shadow of Mordor <laughs> there, as well. There's a villain that has the same you thing as you and gets way, older right? as you beat him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You come back think... and maybe they've developed like oh, like he's missing an eye. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would be sick. <laughs> That'd be sick, like, dude. Seafood too. And, <laughs> and the big twist is like um, at the, like halfway through the game, the enemies also like uh get stronger. Like they also train. Like mm, they also know your moves. One. That would be sick. Yeah. What if that's like um, the idea for the sequel and the nemesis is the previous hopefully. protagonist because of the that magic? Would, oh my god, that would be sick. Yeah, oh my god, cool. that would be sick. That'd be cool. That yeah. Be cool. Speaking of All the right. protagonist, like yeah? the first level, just 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 a tease you, Rafi. I'm not sure if you've mm. already seen the first level, but the first yeah. level is that uh you play as the antagonist. Yep. Mm. And then you're working your way up to killing the master, which is the protagonist's the protagonist's uh, dad. father. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so that's sick. a really, Holy shit. That's a really sick intro, like tutorial stage. Some yeah. Assassin's Creed Black Flag shit. Yeah, actually, <laughs> gotcha. it's kind of you kind of compare. You can pretty cool. Kind of kind of compare it. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, that's yeah. basically my week. Nice. To finish that game, probably lots of so lots of fighting and violence in that one. Yeah. With Reacher and the Shifu, and, the and Shifu. you know, <laughs> like. I, I I've never seen a more violent man than the person going next after you. 
who who is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure who's more violent, me or Migoy. Do we have to fight for it? Is that how? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to have okay. tryouts. <laughs> Fuck, who's fighting for it? Am but I more that, violent than Migoy? Doesn't that make you more violent than both of us? Then? Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Well, that would no, mean I, you should go next. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't want. I, I shy away from this I mean, era of violence. I'm just going to go, Emil, since I've already started the research. Oh, no. I'll, oh, yeah, I'll sure, do it. Sure, sure, sure. I want to I wanna add... Uh, a, yeah, go yeah, ahead. Do it, Migoy. Do it, Migoy. Go, Migoy. Okay, I want to add, like... Because Migs made a comparison like, oh, we haven't had a kung fu game since Shaolin Monks, which is like mm-hmm. not really Shaolin, a PS2 that, that's era the last thing. last game I've played. So. Okay. No, not the last kung fu Yeah, yeah. but like, I, I'd say both visually and aesthetic-wise, <laughs> the closest thing Sifu reminds me of is, you guys remember Absolver? It was a short-lived yeah, yeah. online... Same ah, same dudes? Really? Yeah. Okay, slow clap dudes. yeah because it looks mm-hmm. very much like that but the the entire gimmick was it was online you know pvp it was multiplayer and to learn moves you had to see it first before you could learn it so cool which is a, an so incredible cool. like they could have made a single player game just like that right like kind of like cure you oh that's sick yeah hope oh, <laughs> he'll have rad. his moment of inspiration <laughs> and do something stupid about it yeah dude <laughs> Hopefully they fuse both of these ideas into like the next step of this because yeah. yeah it does look really cool. Yeah, I would like like a uh, a Shifu sequel where there's an invader, and then the <laughs> invader is probably like the the protagonist of the of the last Shifu or something mm-hmm. like that. What if the invader it's was gonna be like Absolver? What if the invader is like an online player? <laughs> yeah, it's a, no, and he's yeah, colored yeah. red Dark like Souls? in Dark Souls. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Okay. It could be, or it could be, be like cool. in Deathloop, where yeah. there is like a character. Ah, that's there's like, a character that that's they take control of the invader. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Starting. Hopefully. What hopefully. if the, what if the invader was Emil, and instead of <laughs> fighting you, he tells you about your week. <laughs> <laughs> so how would that sequence go, Emil? <laughs> oh, oh, is it me? Is it me? Yeah, sure. sure. <laughs> what do you call it? Like we already talked about, uh, what do you call it? Um, 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 uh, Reacher and stuff. I don't have yes. much to add to that. Um, Reacher is a big man. He is he is uh, very threatening and at the same time very very smart and almost ridiculously so. Yeah. But as far as as far as like uh, games I've actually played, like like I mentioned earlier, Migs and I actually got back into Apex Legends. And we've actually been playing it quite a bit. Like, when was the last time you boys played Apex? There weren't spiders last time. Yeah, there weren't spiders <laughs> last time. Dude, I was so surprised. Because, like, I, we, I described that entire sequence to you, right? I thought that cave was going to be so dang safe. And mm-hmm. I saw those red rocks, and I was like, eh, they're red rocks, whatever. And the, when they burst into spiders, it just mm-hmm. felt so... It felt like a betrayal. Of the cave, mm-hmm. it felt like uh, like you have taken the forbidden <laughs> treasure, <laughs> dude. Like we felt so safe in that cave. We were like, "Yo, they're gonna have to come to us. We're fortified. We're hunkered down. We have cover. We have everything." And then spiders, right? So we yeah. kind of felt a little tinge of what you feel on an everyday basis. We were surprised. There were legs everywhere. They were spitting at us, but. I think the coolest part of that, even though we died, was that we went deeper into the cave, like uh-huh. as it went on. Like, uh, Ares died, Migs mm-hmm. died. I was the only one left standing, and mm-hmm. I inched back into the back of the cave. And when the enemies, the other players, started to try to get inside to kill me, mm-hmm. the last mm-hmm. person on the squad, mm-hmm. the spiders started attacking them. <sighs> And then they started to leave. They were like, oh, fuck, there's spiders in here. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, if we played this a little differently, we could have used the spiders to our advantage. Oh, but yeah. we didn't. We could have, we could have done the, the Bruce Wayne uh, route of this. <laughs> we could Which have been Spider-Man. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used yeah. spiders to scare them back. What do you call it? Uh, Apex has been fun. Like, uh, since... Uh, not too many people have been online to play the R6. 
Like mm-hmm. I decided to just download the Apex again. It just so happens that like Migs and like fucking Aris decided to get into it this week too. It's yeah. it's yeah. interesting yeah. because apparently it's like an anniversary of Apex or something. And oh, yeah. Every week they have been giving away free characters and free loot boxes. Oh, sick! Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Last week, was Octane. yeah, last then week it was this... Octane week. Uh, so they gave away Octane for free. Uh, if you missed it, oh well. Uh, and they also gave Octane thematic packs, meaning like all right. of the cosmetics oh. that have to do with Octane. And this yeah, week yeah, it yeah. was Watson. Uh, they <gasps> gave away Watson for free. I want Watson. And they also gave three. <clears throat> Watson thematic Watson. packs, yeah, uh, right. in order for you to like get some cosmetics for her. Um, and I actually don't know who is next week because I know it's like three weeks of celebration or four weeks of celebration. Not sure if it's Horizon or Loba or maybe yeah. I really but, hope yeah, it's someone I don't own. own. Yeah, I hope it's Valkyrie. Yeah. Valkyrie's cool, but well, Valkyrie I think is super Valkyrie. cool. I think yeah. she's she's too, too new. Like she's oh too yeah, new, Valkyrie. Yeah. Valkyrie is the last one. No, oh, dude. sweet. Yeah. Sick. Good, I need to log on. Because okay. Valkyrie is so cool. Like watching. You just uh... log in and then never play again because of the spider. <laughs> yeah. No, um, here. Uh, I'll fly the above spiders, the cave. <laughs> the spiders are only yeah. on the old map. The old map has been fucked. Yeah. And basically, ah, cool. there's just PVE zones in <gasps> the old map. Where 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 random monsters roam about, including cool. spiders. We but we but the new map practice. has but the new map has no spiders. So if you're playing Olympus, you're oh. safe from spiders. Sick. I'll just also, I'll we're doing this out of during rank matches. Like we we finally tried rank matches. Rank oh. these mm-hmm. pretty okay. It's not. It's it's just <laughs> casual League of Legends, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. It's not yeah. really that uh, sweaty. You know. I, I'm super surprised that we got Aris into it actually, because like like mm, Aris yeah. here in Apex, huh? Um, in general, oh, I think it's really really fun, and I think even just for the free characters and free skins, you guys should like try to log on, like just for Watson, just for Valkyrie, pick them up. And uh, since like the last time I logged into Apex was like a long long time ago, there's just so many new things for me, like uh. It it isn't just trios now. You can queue up as a duo. Uh, oh, yeah. There's duo modes. There's also the arena mode, which is just mm-hmm. like uh, straight up just fight. Just fight, yeah. kill each other. Fight. And then there's also this new mode called control, oh. which is uh, just, what do you call it? How many control players is that? Nine versus nine? Domination, but yeah. nine versus nine. It's mm-hmm. nine versus nine, wherein you spawn on a pretty big map and you have to fight over, I believe, three control points. Control points. Okay. And uh, depending on which control points you have captured, it'll affect where you can respawn. And there are initial loadouts that you can pick in order for you to have weapons right away when you spawn. It's kind of cool. Did you try that, Migs? Yeah, uh, I've been doing that ever since it came out. Uh, but there's like a problem where people keep like, quitting the game That's because true. nobody is nobody's capping like point x or point c or something like that mm-hmm. like there's this one game where i actually uh fighting won the game because i just sneakily capped in point c and nobody was like nobody was there um, everyone was in there. the middle okay yeah and whenever there's someone's going there i just like Killed him <laughs> because it's just Watson. I'm just solo Watsoing uh, control. You're oh, Watsoing. <laughs> Watsoing. Uh, what do you call it? I th- I still think Apex Legends is still really really good. Uh, mm-hmm. I think it's my favorite out of all of the battle royales out there. Like, um, yeah. even though I lose so fast, it's really fast to get back into a match, which I really do quite enjoy. Yeah. There's mm-hmm. one more battle royale I want to try, and it's called the Hunt Showdown. And what I is feel that? Like that's very Showdown? different. The Hunt Showdown, mm-hmm. because they have this. Uh, the, the, it's one of those battle royales that doesn't involve a ring, and that's okay. already mm-hmm. different. So the Hunt Showdown and actually Escape from Tarkov, those two games are way different. A lot so, of people have been telling me to try Escape from Tarkov. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Just then, just then. Right. <laughs> that's Shut that's up. a lot of people. Just then. <laughs> yeah, he's Fuck. a lot. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot to handle, man. Yeah. Fuck. Um, um, but yeah, as far as uh, gaming is concerned, that's all I've been doing. I mean, I downloaded a whole bunch of games uh, to try over the weekend, actually. I downloaded Witcher 3. Mix is going to be happy about that. I, I re-downloaded mm. Darkest Dungeon. I I downloaded Civ 6 again. Hey. Uh, oh, be- okay. Because I realized that I've actually never played Civ 6, even and though Darius I own it. gifted this Civ 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of us. Yeah. Oh, did he gift all of us Civ Six? Okay. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. We yeah. could basically just do multiplayer with it. Oh shit! He okay. wants to, yeah. yeah. What do you call it? Um, yeah. And I used to play Civ Five so much, so I'm looking forward to getting to that. But the other thing that I was super into these past two weeks uh, has been a show, and a show. Uh, that show is called Taskmaster. Have any of oh, you gotten yeah. on this? Okay. Yeah. I've seen a bit of it. Yeah. Okay. I've watched so... three episodes of it. So. It's it's the one super great thing about Taskmaster is that Taskmaster has uh, its own uh, YouTube channel and you can just watch all of it there. As in, they, they upload all of the episodes officially on the Taskmaster channel on YouTube and you can watch everything from uh, season one all the way to the, the latest season. Oh, wait, excuse me. They're not called seasons. They're called series because it's British. Oh, um, series Mm, series i'm i am personally right now on series five so i'm five seasons deep and i have been having a blast with taskmaster donna and i would just treat it as our uh we put on an episode while eating dinner kind of thing Mm. like that's been our dinner show to watch and i don't think i've laughed this hard at a show in a long time (laughs) so uh the concept of taskmaster is uh, Greg Davis and uh, what do you call it? Uh, and, and Alex Horn are the hosts mm-hmm. of the show. And for uh, an entire season, they get five comedians and put them through random tasks. Like they shoot oh. the entire thing for like five months or something like that. And then uh, in front of a live studio audience, they review their performance on their tasks and assign points based off who did it best. And I at the see. start of each episode, uh, there's something called the prize task, which will be the prize for that episode, whoever scores the highest points. And the prize task is basically, they will ante up an object, uh, depending on the theme that has been given, and whoever gets the most points takes home all of the objects. Like, mm, okay. I, believe, oh. like I believe like one of the prize tasks that was given was like, uh, your most impressive thing. And like somebody was like, oh, this wedding ring. My wedding ring is the most impressive thing. Or like somebody is like, oh, a, a blank check. That's the most impressive thing. Mm-hmm. And like uh, at the very end of the episode, somebody takes home all those things from those five comedians. And it's just been super duper fun and super duper ridiculous. Like, uh, and it's funny too, because since all of the tasks were pre recorded months before and they're yeah. only reviewing the footage now, certain stupid things can happen. Like, for example, out of the five comedians, this one comedian was asked to count the number of beans in a can of beans, right? <laughs> like, as a task. And then he finds out that he was the only one asked to do it throughout the entire show. <laughs> like, like uh, how many beans are in this can? How many kernels of corn are in this can? Like, throughout the episode, they just keep showing footage of him doing it while no one else had to do it. It's super funny. Um, <laughs> And in general, even if uh, it's a British show, right? Uh, we're not super familiar with British celebrities and British like comedians and stuff like that. But yeah. one thing to look forward to uh, is in, I believe, series four or yeah. series, f- yeah, series four. Uh, one of the comedians featured is actually Noel Fielding, which you may no. better know as the Goth from IT Crowd. Richmond. Oh, right. What's his name? Hey. Is it Richmond or Richmond? Richmond, hello, it's me. Yeah, um, he's there, and he is a blast. He's super funny. Um, it's super cool. great, and it's been a great show to just watch while we're having dinner. So, like, this isn't my rec, but I'm going to wreck it anyway. Like, have any of you guys like watched even like a little bit of Taskmaster yet? I, I did think I watched the one with the ice. They they had to disappear the ice. Something like ah, that. Ah, like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, what do you call it? Uh, they have highlight clips on the YouTube channel, but they also yeah. have the full episodes. Yeah, I think I watched it from like a highlight, like a highlight, uh, the highlight clip. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I went back it's... to the tub and started spraying water on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's from the first <laughs> season. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I've just been having such a great time with it. Uh, I have not laughed like from the belly this hard in such a long time. <laughs> and I 100% recommend watching Taskmaster. And I think that's my week, baby. Nice. Sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, pretty good. You do we do we just call it now Fishmaster Podcast or Taskmaster? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Taskmaster. Yeah. Fucking love Taskmaster, dude. There you go. I'll I'll pick it up. I'll I'm I'm due for a good like laugh once. <laughs> like a yeah, laugh yeah. like a laugh thing. You should watch um, it over there with your wife. I'll try. I'll try to yeah. replicate the, the experience that the you experience. <laughs> hey Emil said, hey, hey, hey Denise. Emil said this was great over dinner, not lunch, <laughs> not any other meal. Specifically for dinner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, would you like to go, Migoy, or should I? Uh, I guess I'll go. Your comfort. All right. Sure. Um, Tell us about your week, man. Man. Yeah. Not a lot happening. <laughs> just, I've just been losing sleep over Master Duel. Dude, oh, yeah. I've it's been so good. I've been seeing awake until 5 a.m. Dude, like, I've been awake I... much Five? longer than that. Yeah. What? Dude, yeah. I know you guys have been busy, but like uh-huh. Migoy and I would just be in this Good Trades Brigade Discord in mm-hmm. the Duel Are- uh, Academy and just be like master dueling till the morning. Fuck, Holy it's so shit. good. That was awesome, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then we got um, our friend wrong into it. And since he's yeah. in the States, the time zones make it yeah. that that's also partially why I stay up longer. Yeah, dude. Are, mm-hmm. Okay, what does that mean? Are the States dudes scrubs? <laughs> no, no, like, because wrong is playing it. So when Emil bounces, and I'm still on, and I'm waiting for the 4 a.m. Genshin daily reset, Okay. I'll usually yeah, stay Ron on like. Will show up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ron will show up in the in the Discord and he'll start playing, and then we'll just keep playing and like, oh shit, it's five. I should go to bed, but I should also do my Genshin homework. <laughs> so. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Big big late nights with the master duels and not gonna lie, I I was getting kind of burned out a few days ago. Really? Because once you're in like the highest like. Uh, competitive ranking platinum mm. it's all like degenerate meta stuff it's so difficult to play and it's i re- the no fun zone it's the no fun zone really? and like I, I run a relatively powerful deck but it's by no means still proper tier two to tier three even it's technically mm. considered rogue it's just really consistent but it loses to a lot of things and i just refuse to make a meta deck because <laughs> Yeah. I'm out of resources, plus I'm oh, okay. lazy to learn a new archetype at the moment, yeah, especially in such a painful environment. But um, just like, was it yesterday, Emil? The the new event went up. The yes. first event mm. of the game. Like the XC's Festival. It sounds like I named it, right? Fucking, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the, the Xyz Festival limits your extra deck to only the Xyz monsters, the black cards. Uh, that's how you spell that? I XYZ. Thought it was like XYZ. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, it's Japan. Xyz. Xyz. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Xyz. And um, they've also created their own unique ban list for the event. Mm. So like a lot of the de- degenerate decks that you know are too powerful on their own without mm. needing any other engine to support it. Like um the most notorious one is the Eldlich archetype. Yep. He is he is banned from this format. No Eldlich allowed in this format. No Eldlich allowed. Because Cause... he doesn't need the extra deck to to go into powerful mm-hmm. plays, and it's a little too easy to go into. So it makes mm-hmm. it unfun to just play against in general. Which gotcha. I'm super surprised because I thought Konami wouldn't give a fuck. And I thought they would be just like, yo, XC's event. Only allowed to use Xyz monsters, but they wouldn't think of Eldritch. But they did. And like it seems like they really gave this ban list some thought. And yeah. like they banned a lot of things that would get in the way of it being an Xyz festival. So mm. yo, Konami, right. doing like, some good 
they stuff. also like banned about a few of those generic draw cards that the only cost is you like exile uh, extra deck monster cards. Yeah. Mm. Like, like mm -hmm. so the pots are gone too. Yeah. N not all. Like a pot of yeah, avarice I think is still legal, but um yeah. Like the other ones so that like it it's essentially incentivizing you to play Xyz monsters because that's the purpose of the the event, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. like so, uh, happy to say that there's a lot of interesting things out there. Um, it was it's been a blast playing the event. You run into some what do you some call freaky it? stuff. <laughs> the event has been mostly what the fuck am I fighting? That's yeah. been the pervasive <laughs> feeling yeah. when you enter a, a match on that event. What the fuck am I fighting? And I think that all started when we bumped into our first suicide deck. Oh yeah, um, suicide. Whoa. Okay. 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 <laughs> Migoy, go. So. Yeah. Apparently, this has been going on since Duel Links and some of their past events where it's just faster to farm points from losing as opposed to winning. So what? people have crafted uh, what is being called a self-TK, the self-turn <laughs> yeah. kill, which they essentially burn their life That's points cool. in like... That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's so weird yeah. because... It's, um, it's impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, initially, you earn like what they call medals, and um, mm. for every X medal, you get like certain rewards, and um, it pools to a total of twenty thousand medals, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, if you play with like one of the loner decks, you can rent out. A win is like fifty coins. A loss is half, so twenty five. But if you play with your own deck, a, a win is a hundred, and a loss is fifty. But if you're playing legit, matches can go on for, what, 10 to 30 minutes, minutes even? 30 right. minutes. Yeah. yeah. And no, I, so it's just faster to just kill yourself, get the 50, bounce, get another game, kill yourself in mm -hmm. like two minutes and get, you know. Mm -hmm. So it was interesting <laughs> running into those as like, oh, this is, the, this is an interesting meta. And like <laughs> you and Wrong were running into yeah. them every match while yeah. I... I, I ran into one once, and then mm -hmm. next I had like a match that went on for like 30, 30 turns, turns, and I didn't know what was oh going my on. Lord. 30 turns. That's yeah. like magic. Yeah. Dirtles. Dirtles in the game. But I was crazy. surprised about. I was surprised about that uh, meta being a thing uh, for the XYZ event because uh, they're doing like optimized suicide decks that's something that you don't really see every day <laughs> yeah. it's so like, optimized. optimized even in magic you that can is win it a minute or two yeah yeah a like minute even or two. even in so magic that's... you know there are decks Bonkers. that you know gimmick decks that center around that mm -hmm. like in commander people have self mill decks and the purpose is just to mill out before anyone else does and yeah, that's a right. win for you personally yeah. oh, no, oh, not, well, not well, even like just for funsy just to show that you can you, right like for... Okay, self-fulfillment okay. that you can yeah, do it, just to know. get this crazy like machine going that mills mm -hmm. you out faster than anyone else can but here like just them burning like oh this one card i burn 3k life points this next card will mill the top three and if any of them are traps i take 3000 but guess all what my, my dex is all traps <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of silly nonsense like that. So cool. <laughs> but um, how long was it? I mean, like less than twenty-four hours, even less than twenty-four hours of this behavior. Like Konami responds with an update saying that oh, no. we've been aware, we we've been notified of these self-burn decks, so we've made it oh, that no. winners get five times the reward. <laughs> so when you win, you <laughs> okay. just get five hundred now. <laughs> Yep, and losers only get fifty. Only so... fifty. Interesting. And okay. you still so... you still run into those burn decks, and I'm like, they, I guess they just don't read the notifications, huh? So yeah. I guess Free what will happen me. is that they will do uh, suicide burn decks, but for the opponents. Those are different, is... like conditioned cards, though. That's not as easy. Yeah. Because usually the life uh, payment is for cost of an effect. Mm -hmm. so right. It's easier to to burn yourself than to burn the opponent. Just burn. But yeah. Emil has been playing that exact deck you're talking about, Mix, burning your yes. opponents. <laughs> Hilariously, like they banned so many cards, but they didn't touch Nurse Burn. So I've been burning people's life points. It's great. It's oh, super God. fun. Dude, Nurse like burn. this this event is so crazy. Like I, I'm very hopeful for future events because I, I genuinely think it incentivizes more creative deck building. Or at the very least, people who play meta decks that don't run a pure theme are kind of forced to run the actual way the decks yeah. are intended. Because most meta decks, 
will okay oh uh he's he's running this but yeah. the end board state is always the same it's always appaloosa it's always something it's always something that will uh, omni negate whatever your yeah, opponent some does. kind of and generic like, win con mm -hmm, generic win con mm -hmm. all the time and then you run into like in the event like oh this is just pure of that archetype i've never fought this properly this is interesting it, it creates a weird like learning experience too and it, it, we get to try out new decks too and they've thrown in a new structure deck to go along with the event and like Galaxy. up front just dump you a lot of in-game currency like we've messed it's, with like it's... what six thousand pesos worth of gems in the first hour of the event yeah exactly <laughs> it's super fun what do you call it like i think uh if anyone wants to get into master duel now is the perfect time with like you get so much free stuff from being mm -hmm. a new account, and mm -hmm. the, the Xyz Festival also gives you a ton of stuff. So it's super great. Yeah, like um, <clears throat> friends of the channel, Deviation and Alistair TV, have made mm -hmm. secondary mm -hmm. accounts to, to benefit off the free gems and that to try out <laughs> archetypes that they can't make in their main accounts because they've oh, yeah. already expended oh, okay. resources. So it's That's become smart. like, here's the fun main account, and here's the, the, mm. the degenerate meta account. That I'll just climb <laughs> ranks with, and boy, it's it's super gross, but it's mm, it's, cool. it's been really fun. Man, you go Fridays. When you say like how gross, like how gross can it get? Like what is the gross? The gross is uh, ending a board state with at least three negates, and then having Wait. like the 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 most like tier one deck has um this monster that looks like he ate a giant jawbreaker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he can yeah, do constant negates in a single turn as long as he has a fairy monster to discard from his hand, so which he'll always have at least Rafi, one. Mm -hmm. Just imagine, Rafi, mm -hmm. if uh, you ended your turn in magic, and on mm -hmm. your opponent's turn, you just had a handful of counter spells and infinite mana. That's yep. exactly that. That's, That's the fun. meta. Also, also, you have a Teferi on your board. So. A Teferi and um, <laughs> yeah. Crater Hoof Behemoth. At least two. Yeah. <laughs> so, That's not just control works not in Yu-Gi-Oh, huh? Yeah, it's not so just, weird. It ain't just control. <laughs> mm. <laughs> There's a bunch of big dudes on the other side, too. <laughs> yeah, dude. Basically, <laughs> Reacher. Reacher decks. <laughs> yeah, Reacher <laughs> decks. <laughs> big you beefy dudes. You discourage and counter your opponent. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The counter spell is a gun. <laughs> and like... <laughs> <laughs> what do you call it? Surprisingly, like I'm new uh -huh. to Yu-Gi-Oh, right? I mean, mm -hmm. I'm not super new because I yeah. did play in the past, but back then it was all about summon skull. It was all about like yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. place a monster down, place a trap down. My 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 turn is done. And now yeah. it's like the man who does fifty things, like we said in our previous episode, right? Yeah. And like I think even if it's like that, it's been so fun to me because I've just figured out that this is just commander without mana like that's what it feels like to me this is just commander but you're allowed to play a card like without mana and it's crazy mm. commander at hyper speed is is kind of the description just imagine mm. you're playing commander one-on-one -on -one, and you could possibly die on the first turn yeah <laughs> this is oh sick yeah 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 Dude, oh sick like that's what Yu-Gi-Oh is because like my my thing is like, oh, does it take if you die on the first turn or if you can kill on the first turn, does it take long or the yeah. combos are always I mean, like you're gonna do fifty things, Rafi. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna oh, especially okay. depending on the archetype, you will have like a, just a mm -hmm. ton of resources everywhere. The graveyard is a second hand. Sometimes the mm -hmm. exile is a second hand to some archetypes. Your opponent's board can be resources depending on what you play. Uh -huh. Can kaiju monsters do that? Jesus, but um. I can see OT your frustration. With OTKs <laughs> are like super common in this. Uh-huh. And it's it's not always the goal, but mm. the 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 ability to choose whether to go first and second could determine your like win ratio. Cuz some decks can be made to be better going first. Wow. And okay. some are made to like let your opponent set up and hopefully I can break it and destroy you in, in the next turn. And remember, Rafi, in this game, there's no such thing as summoning sickness, but the person Except who goes first doesn't get a battle phase. That's it. That guy. And that's doesn't so draw a card. Cool. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But yeah, dude, like, it, huh. it still boggles the mind that Kon a game from Konami gives you, like, what, more than, like, 20,000 pesos worth of in-game currency up front? 
It's wow. Not, it's like we've not we've held up wow. burn through them all, but we've also made a ton of really greedy decks. I've I, <laughs> I've made like I've made a Dark Lord deck. I've made a Dragon mm-hmm. Maid deck. I I have an Eldritch deck. I have so many decks, and it's mm, it it was all accessible. Super great. And we've also That's spent it. actual money already. Yes, so. Miguel Whoa. and I have spent money. <laughs> really? Spent, wow, it's... you nut bars. Holy yeah, shit. Dude. <laughs> so fun. That's all right. It's crazy. This this new event really <laughs> brought some <laughs> some new energy to this. It's great. And mm-hmm. boy, it's not hard to get those rewards now. <laughs> nope, not hard at all. 500. <laughs> 500, every easy. Win. The good rewards are at like 3,000. So bam, mm-hmm. you can get it like 30 minutes if you run into these self TK dudes. Yeah, dude. Crazy. <laughs> You think on future yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh expansions, will they integrate it to Master mm-hmm. Duel in a way where, for example, you get, I don't know, free avatars or free backgrounds or, I don't know, Um, They've, packs? they've already kind of done that through all of their missions. Like, you get a lot of oh, free avatars, okay. uh, free, free um, card backs sometimes as Sleeves, well. Sleeves, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sleeves. And um, I was thinking more of, like, integrating the paper version of it to the digital one. Oh, as far as I know, like uh if you're in a proper it, region, right? if right. you're in a proper region, uh you can win physical sleeves for entering this yeah. Xyz festival. I was about to mention oh, like in that in, is specifically Europe is only doing this so far. Mm. Um sleeves that are exclusive to the game have been made physical and they're implementing it in oh. this week's like local t- tournament scene and whatever. In Europe, that so, is way better than the Magic Arena, dude. Well, there's yeah. a lot of things better than Magic Arena. There. At the yeah. moment, it's crazy. It's, it's not a, yeah. it's not a high bar. <laughs> it's not, yeah, and I guess uh, so. It looks like, like they're gonna Iron Fist to. to <laughs> I it, it like it looks like they're gonna do a lot of this because they also do like dual yeah. links bonuses in yeah. in paper oh. or something. Like if you play this, you can get a a physical reward and whatnot. So. Oh, their okay. their Yu Gi Oh scene is okay. very healthy. It's still one of the big three card games out there. Never left. Respectfully. Yeah, even though it's fueled <laughs> by weebs and shit. Migo, you froze. Oh, I think you froze. Oh, I, I think you oh, froze. No. Yeah. Oh no. Uh. Konami got to him. <laughs> oh no, yeah. Konami got to him. Why? <laughs> John Konami um, is like. Johnny Konami, that's Johnny, a, that's a Johnny cool Konami. Yo, it's me, Johnny Konami. Oh wait, I can see, I can see <laughs> Miggy, uh, on the stream actually waving his hands. So I guess his I'm Discord, Discord problem. It Uh-oh. might be a yeah. Discord problem. Now up, every, up, up. it's now coming back. Oh, everyone is. Back. is bro- Whoa! Whoa. Konami, Konami's Whoa. going for us. Oh. oh, Johnny Konami, what are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing in my house, you son of a bitch? <laughs> I think Menace. he's almost back. I think he's almost back. Technical so. difficulties, my friends. Yeah, you know, you can never, you can never tell when unexpected well, visitors we'll like this. Johnny Konami. Uh, we love this. Yeah, we'll edit this on post. Yeah, so or Fine. we won't. Now we will. <laughs> <Don't> go- <laughs> <laughs> a, if I make a, a funny tiger. joke right now, it would be a shame to cut it off. I, mean, I could add it on. <laughs> On the after episode, so. hey, it's me, your boy Johnny Konami. Eh? Yeah, have, Johnny Konami, what you have, doing here? Have a cannoli. <laughs> <laughs> Name's Johnny Konami. I'm a cousin of Johnny Cannoli. There you oh, go. There Gundams, am I right? <laughs> it's me, Johnny Cannoli. Nope. Don't Johnny listen Kanani. to that to that other uh, lawyer yes, called right? Paul Lightning. Am I back? Back. He's yes, back, back, baby. I've heard back, everything. Baby. Oh shit! <laughs> what? Of course, Johnny Konami. Guys. No, I'm. I've never oh. left. In my in my perspective, the Jedi oh. are evil. You were oh, manifested. No. You I've, were just manifested. I've heard all the Johnny Konamis <laughs> and oh. how they got me. Yeah, Migoya is back, and like everyone is five years older for some reason. <laughs> the Chinese charm doing oh, no, its work. I can, I can hear the voice of God. I don't know. Miggy oh, Fest. God. Manifest. <laughs> Miggy Fest, yeah. All right, please do continue. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Speaking, of, back. speaking of Shang-Chi and how it's better hey. than Iron Fist, I've sure. been watching <laughs> Kim's Convenience on Netflix. Oh, yeah. Hey, we did the seg. Nice. Hey. 
And yeah, Simu Liu is the same character <laughs> in both things. Yep. In my mind, except they are he's not doing guy. kung fu in Kim's Convenience. Yeah, and he's kind of like very shallow in Kim's Convenience, but the delivery of all his lines is essentially the same character. It's the same thing. Right? Same thing. It's the same thing. Yep. He even wears like he, he's a fond of those button up shirts also in both <laughs> series, right? Yeah, yeah. If if you told me a, a clip from Shang Chi was from Kim's Convenience, I wouldn't know any better. Yeah. It looked the yeah, same to the me. Same. It's probably the same. Yeah. Corporate says. How is it? How, How is, is it, it for you? Uh it's yeah, yeah. it's a nice, simple, you know, turn off your brain kind of family sitcom. Just mm -hmm. keep it on the side, yeah. Yeah, and it's mm -hmm. I guess it's Doing kind lunch. of refreshing that it's a Canadian show as opposed to an American show. Right. Well, the yeah. production is slightly more different than your usual we gotta keep this going how many seasons by making these bullshit, you know, um cliffhangers mm -hmm. and whatnot. But um I also find that how they write episodes is I don't know, like lazy sometimes because they make the some of the pettiest reasons the entire I th thing for the show. <laughs> I think some of the like, episodes and some of the bits are based on the play that they did before because Kim's convenience, like based off a a play yata or a, or a I, I, play I have like heard a bit really? similar. yeah like a comedic bit yeah what? to the internet <laughs> to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> To the sweat keep. drop down my ball. No. Oh, keep, okay. keep, 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 keep. <laughs> but yeah, oh, like I was gonna stop it there. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, well, it's true. It Kim's is. Convenience like, by In's Choi is a play about a family-run Korean-owned uh, convenience store in Toronto's Regent Park neighborhood. Holy shit! All right. Oh, wow. Some of the jokes are kind of reused for the show. Okay. Yeah, some of them sort of like a one. It so, sort of sounds like a one shot. Mm -hmm. And then they just added it on the episode. That's why some episodes look jumbled a bit. <laughs> no, but I mean, like in one thing, it's one bit. But uh... right, I can sort of see that, I guess. But there are just some scenarios where, like, the oldest characters are being the most immature, <laughs> and that's enough yeah, I mean... to be an issue. And like, God, you're like forty something, dude. Why are you acting that like a kid in real life? <laughs> But then he's arguing we with his wife, people. and the wife is being equally petty. And I'm like, yeah, we okay. know some people like that. I think the favorite, my favorite thing about like Kim's convenience that I watched so far is how obsessed the parents are with having a good funeral photo. That's, that's my favorite. So yeah, that, that's pretty funny. Like the their daughter, who is a a photography student, right. takes a good photo, and they're like, oh, this go on family wall. It looked good funeral photo and like, whoa. <laughs> That's what you're thinking, wow. Yeah. And to follow up, there is an episode where they talk about them buying a spot in a cemetery. Like, oh, yeah. we buy good land to spot for when we die. And then the scenario is they needed money, so the dad sold the wife's spot and the wife didn't know. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. And that becomes a thing. And like, yep, yeah, like old people do think about these kind of things, huh? Yeah. That should yeah. be something to look into. And I'm like, oh, God, I'm scared. Where do I go when I die? <laughs> oh, shit. Will I have a good funeral photo? <laughs> <laughs> They'll take your shittiest Facebook That's photo true. and use that. Good you won't Gosh, even know oh what they will use. Oh, no, I'll That's know. I'll fear. fucking know. Oh, I will <laughs> haunt them. I yeah. will haunt them. Exactly. If it's bad, you boys will feel it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that we're in charge of it. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be my my eyes and ears like oh you don't like that okay. you don't like you don't like, like, like uh, oh he yeah, told me right now funeral plan change it <laughs> we will be the best men at the funeral is that what's happening <laughs> mm, yes, that's <laughs> the best man at the funeral <laughs> gonna be like a coffin bearer uh... I don't think you understand how funerals work it's just like a wedding right? it could work I've seen yeah, it it's just funeral the wedding planners, but sad. Dude. Some weddings are sad. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Some people with a veil come in. And they're like, who does this go into? You're not the Donna wife. Donna says pallbearers. We can be pallbearers. Ah, there we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cemetery like, hype men. Yeah, we'd have the urn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe we have the urn. Hey, yeah. props. Doing that shit. To be honest, yeah. that's anyway, probably what I could afford. The audio. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, Kim's uh, Convenience. I'm just burning through it. That's my lunchtime TV show. 
Mm-hmm. I'm just at season five now. I think it's the final one. That's true. And it, it's funny that you could super tell when Simu Liu is off doing Shang Chi. Yeah. Because there's just moments where like, oh, I'm suddenly in LA taking on like a a, a class yeah. for college, <laughs> and he's just in a a single camera video screen, just not moving. It's like, hello. He shows up for two episodes and then disappears for the next ten. Oh God! <laughs> I think one of the recent episodes I like was that, um, Appa and who's the woman? Who who's the wife? The Uma. They were, yeah. Mm-hmm. They're trying to, um, they're trying to pool some some folks in uh in a rich neighborhood oh, i just that they saw live that in there because they wanted to okay. use and the the fancy funny. tennis court in the village yeah they just want to use the tennis court in the village mm-hmm. and then they try to uh do that by pretending they're from the village yeah and so then they, they befriend was... this other couple and they're yeah. a- after they play tennis they're like oh where do you live uh, um in third street they're like oh we're just by there we can drive you like yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. And when they drive by, and then they 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 got dropped there, and then the actual tenants from from that house opened the uh, door, appeared, <laughs> yeah. opened the door, and then they were treated like they were the maids and the. And the no, 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 no. It, it's it. funnier because they go like, "Have you heard about our Lord and Savior, the Jesus?" The uh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. The Jesus, it's, the one. That particular yeah, episode that's... was very Keenan and Kel to me with how <laughs> sitcom oh, yeah. and everything was. It's pretty funny. The situation. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. how hyper specific everything is. <laughs> yeah, it's a Sick. good simple show. You enjoying it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll probably finish it. It's not right. mind blowing, I mean, but it's still simple to watch. You're one season away, anyways. Oh. Yeah. Good. One, I'm gonna, gonna do one additional tidbit that I found is that Appa is the same in both the play and the series. He's Ooh, the same guy. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yep. that's he kind of Ted Lasso. <laughs> a bit, I guess. Yeah, so. And yeah. that's kind of. Uh, I don't know. That that's some data for me because like one of the things I can't stand from the show was Appa's accent, but I guess that was its claim to fame from the very start. Huh? But Raffy, he's, he's actually he's also very... Korean, so he's actually Korean. He's allowed to do that. Typical. Okay, fine. All right, <laughs> all right, that's it, fine. It is kind Can of I... weird how him and the wife mm. speak English to each other despite living in Canada for mm. like yeah. over twenty it's... years. The wife, the actress from the wife, I've 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 watched her in the Expanse along with Simu Lu in one oh. episode. Okay, so yeah, they're sci- like, like they, I, I guess the Kim's Convenience family is like sci-fi rats <laughs> because Appa's also in the Mandalorian as the X-wing pilot. Wow, so, is he? Oh, you know, yo, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. In the spiders in the spiders. That's I him. know this. From yeah, in the spiders, spiders episode. Specifically yeah, yeah. For that episode. Oh my god, he's in there. Yeah. Oh my god. It's either that or the pool of Canadian actors is very small. (laughs) Yeah, probably. Because I think most of them happen to actually be from Toronto for that show. (laughs) So that's a little funny. But yeah, Kim's Convenience. All right. That's the one. Very nice. Go for it, man. I think that leaves you. All right. I think that just leaves just me. Hey, finish it. Let me bring it home. No, no, no. Actually, no, no, I just no, want to no. add something because we mentioned yeah. another Willem Dafoe bit. Mm. Um, there's actually a Five Nights at Freddy's movie that's happening. No sure. way. What? How far? And like, that's sure. always been a thing. Right? I have no idea. But um, the confirmed actors in the project mm. is Willem Dafoe. Yes. And As Dane who? DeHaan, I'll, what? Which the is also another Green Goblin. <laughs> So we the got two green, green goblins, goblins. Oh in God. this show. G. So, uh, Super G. Who's Willem Dafoe even going to play? Yeah. Freddy? Is he going to be Freddy? Green Goblin. I don't no, know. Dude? Any characters in Five Nights at Freddy's, dude? No, no, I don't no, know. No, no, no. He, he I has to be William the... Afton. No, he has to be I the security guard. to be the security guard so yeah. that when all the robotics comes, we can see like scared Willem Dafoe face. That would be great. Yeah. No, no, he, great. he he want, won't be I there, but he'll tell you the full face, though. Yeah, yeah, he, no, he won't the, be yeah, there. That's the thing at the end, they reveal okay. that uh, he was also oh. an animatronic puppet. You spoiled it, Migs. They Scooby Doo oh. it. They take <laughs> off the mask. I mean, sure. 
All right. All right. Uh, What's up in your week, baby? Yeah, okay, yeah, my baby. It. My baby for the week is that I have. Uh, I need to report a, a lots, a lots of menacing and life fails. Those are my my things. Okay. Aww. One, one is that okay. So for the log for about like a month now, a few weeks now, I've been noticing. I've been posting on Facebook, and then like I've been noticing that I've been kind of broken up about it, kind of kind of sad about it. That like uh, maybe I've been too absorbed with work that I killed my Facebook algorithm, and like no one seeing my post. I was getting sad about uh, it. Like, no I haven't. We missed you. No all. one's seen yeah, we, any we of my posts. Miss you There's no like. I <laughs> oh, appreciate that. There's actually no like, no interaction, not even anything on all my posts, and I've been posting. And I'm like, I just discovered today that I've had, I've set all my posts to just me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your privacy settings. Like, I, how is that possible? I, oh, how is I, that possible, dude? I had to do something work for work where I, ha- I wanted to test out how a Facebook post would look like uh, posted, like pu- finally published, right? So I just put my settings into just me. And I put that, I, te- I test it, and I'm, I see like, okay, it's not cropped in a weird way. It's this and that, this and that. Oh, it's good. And then all my succeeding posts from that day were just only available to me. So all my art that I put up, all my pictures of like Denise, all of everything I put up was just only just me. And I just figured it out like at the start of this podcast. And that, that was kind of a comfort because at the start is like, I guess, I guess I was too absurd with work. No one cares about me. <laughs> like, oh, no. No, like wow. there's no not a single interaction and uh, and the the realization of like, oh shit. It's set to private. To it's my items. fault. It's my fault. And you know how long this has been going on? Since the 1st of February. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Over That's half a month. Know. Dude, we haven't seen any of your posts. What the fuck? So, sure enough, I put them all into, like, okay, friends. Friends of friends, 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 friends of friends. And that's when the likes came in. And I'm like, I'm such an idiot. I manage social media for two companies. And I, I did this for half a month. Oh, no. It was so stupid. So uh, that's why you kind of went. That's like, why you disappeared. Yeah, we thought you were just yeah. busy. So fucking dumb. I don't, I don't, I, I don't like understand. If I, like if I remember, like we were just like tagging you on some posts. The, and now the that I saw your wall, yeah. it's yeah. just us, not you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you haven't even like you haven't posted yeah. anything for like I, I would, five days total. Yeah, no, like th- these are like I I I set them all out now so to friends so people can see them now. But like at the start of the month, there was like nothing just for me. I, I was just like broken up about it. Like, oh anyway. no! Yeah. All right. Um, that was just like one of my life fails that just happened. Um, and another thing is like uh. There, I need to report myself to the menace police because there's no one else, like which is you boys, <laughs> you, you guys are the menace police, because there's yeah. no one else to confess to, you know, like I'm, mm-hmm. I'm like daredevil, and you guys are like the priest because you're the only one that's. Like, <laughs> I thought you were gonna <laughs> say the <laughs> sea of fire. <laughs> yeah. I see a world ablaze. Um, and then I see a word world on fire. <laughs> so fucking edgy. Um. Yeah, I did another menace. A menace again happened. So, um, falling in line for an elevator. The elevator um, sometimes it jams up because there is like a Korean BPO. Uh, there's a foreign BPO um, near here, and most of their staff go to this condo, right? So there are times in the elevator where um, there's just a huge long line of people trying to get in because they just came from their job, right? So uh, one time I find myself in this line, I'm a little bit cranky. I'm a little bit like, oh, I need to go up there. I need to go back to the safety of my home. And there's so many people, I'm on edge. And then this one guy, like huge audacity, he sees the line of people and tries to cut in in front of me. Oh no. Ooh. Tries to cut oh, in no. in front of me. Yeah. And I'm already like on a good day, I'll never let that happen. Like, mm-hmm. I hate people cutting in line. But this time, I was like, I did this motion. Okay, I'll describe the motion okay. as, as audio fairly listeners. as I can, right? 
notes and see if there's anything menacing with it. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. I have, I have my phone in my left hand, right? Mm-hmm. And so as I, I have my phone and I'm like, I'm bemused. And then uh, I see this guy cut in front of me, right? And I tap him on the shoulder. He looks around. He turns his full body to me. I point my finger. I point over my right finger, my right hand index finger. I point over to the to back my of the line behind you. Yeah, back, back yeah. of the line over my left shoulder. Yeah, okay. Right? Right. So my right is crossing over to my left shoulder, pointing to the back of the line. And the guy did something really weird. He reacted in a weird way where he's like, he winced. He like, he, 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 his eyes like, like braced for impact. <laughs> did he think you were going to elbow him in the face? You think you're going to. Did he think you were rearing up to like gut punch him? Or to like, backhand him or something? I mean, I think I like the backhand. I think he you. feared a backhand because no. like. Yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, you okay. pointing to the back, <laughs> yes. you looked like you were about to slap the shit out of this man. You're right, yeah. The bicep pops as he it puts his weird. arm over his shoulder. Who's that? Who's that? I think, is, the, is, is that Jay from Jay and Silent Bob, where he just goes... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think you know, so. He, he preps the backhand for his slap. Yeah, he preps the backhand. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. and I just saw it on my webcam on stream. And yeah, you can't yeah, even it see. Looks it. Like if you don't see the pointer like, finger, you don't right? The finger. It looks don't like you're gonna finger. you're gonna smack him he kind of, his, his Raffy, eyes got You just like... reached him. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, uh, Raffy, there's bullet Raffy, holes Raffy, on his uh, back. Here, here's the real question: Like mm-hmm. after he wins, did he actually go to the back of the line? He did. <laughs> okay, job well done. Mission successful. Yeah, you reached him. You reached him. The threat the of actual violence. Like, mm-hmm. I, I couldn't parse it really. I honestly couldn't parse what it was at, at the time of like, why did he do that? What was that reaction about? Like, but now you fully realize yeah. your actions. Yeah, somebody yeah. needs to check that man for bullet holes, like in his back. Yeah. <laughs> Self defense. <laughs> eating popcorn. <laughs> yeah, dude. He was also gazing at like the the back of my fist, like. Oh, yeah. His life flashed right. before his eyes. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, so I won't... I don't know. After watching what's Reacher... The, what's the jury on this one? That's like, a what win. is the verdict on no, this one? Like, yeah. I think uh, we're all in agreement that it is a win, but we're also all in agreement that, yes, you are a menace. <laughs> yeah, but for a good reason. <laughs> yeah, you deserve it. Oh, no, no, no. Reacher. Uh-huh. This is a this is a good menace. This is a reacher. Moment. Yeah, this is a reacher mm-hmm. moment. You were enforcing justice in the living space. Mm-hmm. In self defense. Yeah. yeah, in self defense. No, like yeah. the funniest <laughs> part about it is <laughs> allegedly that you didn't mean it that way, but that's what you did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 I guess that's what we do. We keep yep. this condo safe. I guess. That's, yes. That's one. Oh, there's also one one more thing. Sorry, I have. To, I, have I just rushed it to my mind. Go for it. <laughs> Sure. Go for it. More Reacher stories. Let's go. It. I was walking back to the house and then something befuddling. Uh, I mean, walking back to the condo through the hall of other condo doors and something befuddling uh, uh, approached my gaze. And it was a door that was only slightly ajar. It was like open a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. And I just stood there, really. <laughs> I just re- oh stood God. there, really, and contemplating, like, should I knock and say that their jo- their door is open? Or should I just let it go? Should I touch the knob and close it for them? <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, hmm. it, it opened up like a, a, a telltale, like, slow, mo- slow mode of options. Like, every time freezes, and there are a bunch of options that I could do. <laughs> like, what? Were some of the options clearly marked as renegade? <laughs> you take it down and yell at them. <laughs> Keep your door closed, you sons of bitches. Renegade. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, that was. There's not much to the story. There's more, there's like, uh, what's hit, what's what I find was crazy was the amount of time I just stood there, not taking action. No, yeah. It's, 
I think it's you thinking of these things that turn you more into a menace. Because no. you just standing there is actually way more menacing than any of the actions you could have taken. The real renegade option was to just stand there. Like some sort yeah. of serial killer. And stare. Stare <laughs> at them. Menacingly. Until the door closes. <laughs> and people like, oh, like, peep through the little peephole and said, oh god, he's gonna kill He's, he's there again. <laughs> <laughs> it's him again. It's like honey, in 12 minutes. Honey, do we have enough food? <laughs> <laughs> we can't wait leave. <laughs> it's the same no, people. I was, like... I was trying to help. What if there were <laughs> what if there were some hooligans that opened their house? Nah. You know? nah. From their view, you were the hooligan. You're the hooligan. No. <laughs> it's super anyway. cool. God dang it. Well, it's it's such a it's such a hard job to keep this place safe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, hey, I wanted to bring up something also that we all kind of shared in and that we all kind of watched like a previous episode ago or two episodes ago. I, yeah. uh, me and Denise watched um, Archive 81. Hey! That was a fun. You guys, you, you guys talked about it. and um, Did you complete it? Are you done? Yes, completed all the way through. Oh wow! How really was good. it for you? Um, how are we on spoiling it? Dinama, I'm I... good with spoiling it. Okay, great. <laughs> um, so we talked about it before. We know the premise and all that stuff. There's a spooky building with a cult. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I liked it up until uh, it started explaining and revealing too much. I think uh, where the show uh-huh. starts getting weird is when they uh-huh. start showing mm-hmm, the big mm-hmm. bad. When they start showing the big bad, I was like, mm, it's so maybe. corny. It's very yeah, corny yeah. when they start showing the big bad. And the big bad like has nothing to like uh, does nothing to kind of make you fear it. Like he do- like the thing he which is menacingly like, like you in the hallway. Like, <laughs> am, am I a god, also a demon? <laughs> am I labeled as both a god and a demon? <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, it does nothing. It's just there. It appears sometimes. It doesn't even like reach out to you. It comes from your monitor or whatever it is. Like, mm-hmm. it it does nothing for it to be feared and to fear like its arrival. So mm-hmm. I feel like that's a huge miss and. It I hate it that like it's almost always shown in like the most unspooky way. Possible. Oh yeah. Very, very <laughs> non spooky. <laughs> in kind of like uh in full view with the light with, with a costume that kind of looks like that villain from the flash anime, like the yeah, flash series. It looks like that. <laughs> it looks like Godspeed, but looks evil. Like that. With the with the raggedy mouth and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit. Oh, damn it. With the thing kind of muscle in my mind he's, he's in my mind he's godspeed now with the pad <laughs> with the padded muscle oh no i I, mean, I really enjoyed the show a lot more when he yeah, wasn't yeah. the big bad and when the boss was the big bad yeah you know what i mean that one too i think it's always like, more interesting when it's not an actual demon it's it's yeah. like yeah is he going crazy or is it something and then go they yeah. go like no it's something what did yeah, you think of all the gaslighting? One specific. What did you think thing. of all the gaslighting happening to make um, him feel like he was going crazy? Yeah, mold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's the mold. That it's it? the yeah, mold. It's all the mold. I thought it was kind of cool though that the mold kind of like the mold is freaky. Did, like more freaky uh, than the big bad. The mold yeah, is a lot yeah, yeah, scarier yeah. than the big bad. Yeah. Yeah. It the way it transcended through time through through video that was cool yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah right it kind of infected like the the vcr and the the, the vhs whatever it was that was cool um and the little patterns that it makes the swirly the, patterns yeah like, very uzumaki super freaked me out mm-hmm. that was cool i mean the show was good when it was it had a mystery going mm-hmm. yeah but when they kind of untangle that mystery and they show everything in plain view i think that was a bad move. it was yeah. like it was that when they show everything and then the show doesn't end. It's kind yeah, of like, like what makes me go, ah, yes, this is a podcast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call it? Uh, hmm. I think the show is really good at creating like creepy atmospheres. But like as soon as it revealed a whole bunch of stuff, it was just like, eh, this is all. Yeah, right. yeah. 
It's not that show... it's bad. It's just that it, the start, the first half of the series was way mm. better. The the tastiest parts are when we're they're building the mystery mm. and they're they're making like what you said, like the atmosphere of like something's going on, and it's like it might not be just in his head. There might be like some things and stuff. Like that. But then... I think my question to you, Rafi, mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. If you were ever approached by an eccentric millionaire <laughs> and asked to fix audio tapes in the middle of nowhere, would you ever take that job? Fuck no. What the fuck? <laughs> no. No, never. Never, ever, ever. Like, I'd bring, like, like 65 other people with me. Like... <laughs> Why would I do it alone? That like, was one no. of my things. I was like, why are you doing this alone? It's like, yeah. can't you like bring a friend or something? Fuck, yeah, dude. Yeah. Bring, dude. Ano, bring his best friend, the podcast guy, who is also from uh, <laughs> How to Get Away with Murder. Really? <laughs> I love that guy. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yes, uh, oh, he was shit. Asher. Uh, he was a frat boy in, in How to Get Away with Murder. Really? And now he's this Holy big shit. podcast that, that guy. Dude. That guy is um, noticeably based on a podcast host, right? That's his I role in this show. It is based show. on. I wonder if it's based on the creator of the show, like the original. Probably, show. I feel like that's Probably. it. Yeah, maybe the podcast is very similar to the show in the in the show, the podcast in the show. Maybe. Uh, like it was also because... weird how he was supposed to go to that place alone, Mm-mm. and then you see the caretaker in red, and then yeah. when he asks yeah. about it, the the owner is like, "No, you're alone." And then when he finds the caretaker, no, no, she's she was here the whole time. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dick yeah, move, dude. Like, yeah, slide just keep it with him. Yeah. It was also totally unnecessary to do that. Too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just just I say it. I... Say someone's taking care of yeah. the, the facility. I also didn't understand like um, uh, onion, how he could, how the guy could just get to that place in like a moment's notice. Like, he kept asking, like, are you experiencing a mental emergency? <laughs> and, like, the second he'd feel like something was wrong, he'd be there in a heartbeat. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. Huh? Oh, that, like, that, and, and... That's just how it is in the States. He was being monitored, right? Like, they show in the first episode. He was yeah, he's being monitored. monitored. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, and, like, um, <clears throat> he said that the town is, like, 14 miles away. That's mm-hmm. far on a bike. But mm-hmm. in a car, that's, like... That's um, pretty fast. That's fast. Like, like, uh, five, ten five, ten minutes, yeah. In yeah, the yeah. states without traffic. We're so without used to traffic here because uh... traffic. Yeah. Oh, um, and yeah, I think the the cliffhanger was also kind of lazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Super. I feel like the the cliffhanger was like, here are some ideas. Let's shoot all of them. Maybe they'll cut <laughs> together. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We're in the portal, and the handsome guy grabs you. Now you're in the present. <laughs> Where's the, where's the handsome guy? I don't know. <laughs> but 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 the the other guy is in the past. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, it doesn't make sense. Like, surely the guy who was grabbed would stay in the past because the portal was to the. I don't know, I don't know man. <laughs> don't but know. like, as far as Archive Eighty One is concerned, yeah, I'm kind of game to watch a second season. But sure. I will like my my one hundred percent thing is the first half was better. Um. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's scarier. That's Do for you, sure. I I saw a lot of like um a little bit of parallels with the lighthouse. Um. Uh, maybe it's it was just put into my head that they're both like eldritch kind of like uh Lovecraftian horror. Mm-hmm. Um. With like, are you going crazy or or people going stir crazy? Um, bit by bit, going insane, bit by bit. I want to know because I've never finished the lighthouse. <laughs> do they? Ex- do they you should ever watch ex- the lighthouse? The Leo DiCaprio yeah, we'll movie. We'll, not, we'll never the... tell you Wait, until no, you watch it. The Willem. The Willem. The Dafoe. Willem. Yeah. The Willem and the Batman. And the Batman. <laughs> <laughs> the Batman and the Green Goblin. The Batman and the Green Goblin. <laughs> they were both uh, sea boys. Um, yeah. Um, sea boys. I hope. I my hope is in the movie that I haven't finished. My hope is <laughs> they don't explain too too much of anything. What do you call it? Uh, fun fact: the lighthouse was based off an actual happening. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Like, uh, oh, like uh, oh, apparently, lighthouse keepers do tend to go crazy. Oh, yeah. Really? Holy shit! It's a very I, lonely I, job. That's another one where I keep months alone in, in the middle of the sea. That? 
I keep meaning to finish the lighthouse because I find it like really um intriguing, <laughs> like what's it's happening. Cool. But mm-hmm. like every time I do it, okay, I'll have some lunch and then put on the lighthouse and I'll finally finish it. Whenever I do, it's like I keep going back to the scene where Pat is You know, know how I finished it? And it's all gross. Me? Rafi, you know how I finished it? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was watching it while washing the dishes. Okay. <laughs> it's just like it's just like it feels gross. I can't get over like it gets grosser. Oh my god. Yeah, it gets, it gets grosser, grosser. But at the same time, yeah. it's fine it's because it's in black and white. So Do you want to see really... the Batman jack off? I've seen that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking a mermaid too, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he did. Um with the spit and all that stuff, and like the dirt and the beard and the, I don't know if I can finish this movie. This the might farting. Be my... This might be my the farting. This... <laughs> this might be my Punisher. <laughs> can I just drop this movie? Oh no! Oh, God. Uh, no 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 no! Wait 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 wait! wait, wait. I'll need to. Uh, that's also a thing that I watch. I watch the Punisher. Um, yeah, and with that in mind. Um, that is the light. No, that is not the lighthouse. That is the that is archive eighty one. <laughs> I am I am also still down to if they make another uh, season for it. I I want to see. Will. I wanna I wanna go back in that world and experience that kind of mystery. Because when when it was going, I was really enjoying myself. Me and Denise were like, oh, what's gonna happen? And we were like, binging it. It felt like a haunting of Hill House type, or it filled the yeah. hole where haunting of Hill House is usually there. Mm-hmm. So it was good. It was good. It was good. It was just in that final episode when they show too much of the cult to explain too much of what the gate is and too much of the demon, uh, the speed force fucking Godspeed demon. Uh, <laughs> that kind of ruined everything for me. But like, I mean, that kind of let me down a little bit. But yeah, the world is cool. Uh, the, the actors and the delivery all back. So yeah, that See, is that. I also noted, I also dropped there that uh, I watched The Punisher because that is the uh, a line for... Don't know why I oh, said it I? like a. Yeah, like you a, okay? Do you need a strepsil? <laughs> need the water? I, I said it like a like a dodo word, like a cartoon dodo word. I don't know. Um, I finished Daredevil, and that's where we're going to get this. Uh, Flix in like a move. Daredevil season three oh. is very good. I I need to interject here and say Darede- Daredevil, like all three seasons of Daredevil, is really really good. Um, and I like what they did in season three where it's back to the kingpin again um and do i spoil a character do it is it's it, worth it yeah yeah. Is it colin farrell? yeah and what they do with colin farrell aka bullseye they they introduce him in this song. it's good it's good i love what they did so yeah, yeah um it they they show him as like this i'm just gonna yeah, anyway, it deals with like the slow corruption of like an FBI agent that eventually turns out it to be Bullseye. And you know, it's it's Netflix Daredevil, so like they do the writing right and the delivery is really good and uh 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 what's his name? Kingpin actor? Fuck, I forget. Vincent um, D'Onofrio. Vincent D'Onofrio. Vincent D'Onofrio is always there going like silence, silence. When I was a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you did. To Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> that's so that's so true. But you came after Vanessa. <laughs> Just look at the white wall. <laughs> I need water. <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> Sugar water. <laughs> More. Alright, so this is this is from Daredevil season three. It's uh, Mercer who eventually. T- uh, no, no, no. This is Dex who eventually turns out to be Bullseye, and they're like in a uh, trigger warning sci- uh, uh, psychiatric office, or a uh, he's seeing his psychiatrist. There you go. Um, I I will have a trigger warning here for like intense, like maybe psychotic episodes, and like. Uh, intense edginess, okay? So uh, okay. the psychiatrist, Dr. Mercer, says, uh, Dex, Dex flares up at the psychiatrist. And this is like her, his longtime like, psychiatrist. They have a bond. Uh, they've been doing great work together. 
and then um he suddenly fare, flares up because the psychiatrist is kind of like um um sick and has to retire from from stuff um hey oh, i know <laughs> this <sighs> no uh all right i'm just going to pull this i don't want to say this okay it's too dark <laughs> it's too dark I'm gonna call it off. Yeah. I'm just gonna go with let's another go, one. Let's really? Let's I don't like it. 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 I'm gonna pull it out. It, Look it's what too you've dark. Done to my Vanessa. Yeah, let's just go with. Uh... Let's go with the king. <laughs> let's just go yeah, with. Yeah, it's good... too dark. I think I know what I you're. Like, trying I don't to like use. this one. Never mind. Um, let's go with good place. <laughs> something, something safe. Let's go with good place because we've been rewatching it as well. This is Jason. And uh, he says, But I don't want to go to the bad place. It's scary. Like that movie Ratatouille. <laughs> 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 okay. There you go. Much safer. I don't like that edgy one. Never mind. <laughs> there, there, there will come down you. All right. So that is all the weeks. Why don't we hit us up with some wrecks? Okay. Who would like See? to start these wrecks? Mm-hmm. I will do it. I'll start it. Yeah, go do for it. it. Um, I would recommend a show that recently uh, finished, and that is The Peacemaker. Oh, um, oh it's done? Yeah, you, can, you can watch all of the episodes right now on HBO Go mm-hmm. or HBO Max if you're in the States. Um, but yeah, it's basically the the show, for, like John Cena's show, like Mm. Um, Peacemaker's show. It's, it's pretty hilarious. It's actually good. And um, if you want to get convinced to watch the show, just watch the opening. Mm. Just watch the opener. <laughs> it's opening really is, nice. It's that really opening good. is so good. I've heard about like, this, yeah. <laughs> if anyone uh, wants to have an idea of what the opening is, uh, I'll just explain it. It's just a, it's a dance, dance number. number. Yeah, It's a dance number, but everyone is serious. Everyone's yeah, face yeah, yeah. is serious, except the janitor. Like, no one smiled. Yeah, except the janitor. But no one is like smiling or like breaking character. Everyone's just deadpan serious. It's funny. So yeah, go watch uh, Peacemaker. Gonna wreck it. Sick. Nice. That's a good James Gunn joint. Mm-hmm. I gotta watch that. I like how James Gunn sold it to John Cena too, where he was like, because <laughs> if you've watched the. What's it called? The the movie, Suicide Squad two. Yeah, and Peacemaker. The Suicide Squad. Yeah, Peacemaker like gets shot in the jugular, mm-hmm. so the world assumes mm-hmm. he's dead. Even John Cena, and then James Gunn is like, "Yo, you want to make a Peacemaker show?" Mm-hmm. John Cena's like, "I thought he died." And James Gunn's like, "Don't worry about it. <laughs> I have everything set up." <laughs> <That's> <laughs> All <shit>. right. <laughs> <laughs> I got Basically, it. the entire energy of that show is the same. It's really good. Sick. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Who wants to go next, baby? Um. All right, I'll go. I need to explain this this thing that I put in my rec section in the in the when we were planning the show. It yeah, just because says, yours oh, just says yeah. recommendation <laughs> woman. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like to recommend woman. What does that hey, mean? We, women are great and strong oh, go, 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 and powerful. Go, go, go. All right. Cherish the women in your life. They okay. are they are better than all of us. Um uh, no yet. Yeah. Uh I'm going to recommend a Netflix show called The Woman in the House Across the Street from the Girl in the Window. <laughs> I've been seeing yes. that. What is I've that? I'm recommending you guys that show. It's, it's really good. It's a it's a Christine Bell Christine Bell joint. Yeah, Christine, Christine Bell, Bell joint. joint. Yeah. From uh hit franchises Good Place and Assassin's Creed. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> For real? <laughs> yeah. He is there. Kristen Holy Bell, shit. Kristen Bell is the he was in one. Assassin's yeah, Creed yeah. 1 and 2. And then um, she died because <laughs> she had a better deal. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, it's a. What's really great about it is it's a very rare genre, which is a dark thriller comedy. It's yeah. a okay. thriller I comedy. I was guessing from the title, yeah. Yeah, um, it's not all the way satirical like um, 
it's, say a what's it called? Uh, not another scary movie or whatever like that. That's mm-hmm. yeah. that's too like slapstick. This one is very subtle with its comedy, but you can parse it out when you're like paying it's attention. Like, it's mm. too serious for its own good. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. She launches so... into these like monologues because it's about they're parodying the genre of like uh, this woman. Sees a wind, see, sees a murder by a window, right? Okay. Like yeah, there, yeah, yeah. there's this whole genre of that where it's like woman by the lake, woman by the window, gone girl, woman on the couch, oh gone girl, whatever, <laughs> like that, that, that kind of shit. Um, now they're straight up parroting uh that genre, and um, basically Kristen Bell is uh that woman who sees a who sees a murder, but. Uh, she does. She's not sure if the murder really occurred because she's been chugging wine and pills all day. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sick. And like, um, and uh, I think one of the funnest uh things of here is because Denise Denise uh, showed this uh thing to me, and she she already watched the whole season of it, uh, in Netflix. And she was like, I don't know what I just watched there. I wasn't paying attention. I just kept it in the background. It felt very weird. It was kind of thrillery, but like it felt very like weird. And she didn't know since she was keeping it in the background. She didn't know that it was satire. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That makes it even better. She thought it was a serious thing. And when she when we watched it together, like paying full attention, she was like, Oh my god, how did I not miss like the <laughs> The bunch of corks sitting on top of her dining table, comedically forming a mountain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Um, and the backstory of how she lost her child, it was like... Yeah, that was um, so convoluted. <laughs> the backstory of how she lost her child was, it was a um, take your daughter to work day uh, for the dad. And the dad works at the FBI. And... <laughs> Yeah. And and their job that day for uh when they took their child to work was to interview this cannibal. Oh no. <laughs> left her alone. Oh no. Oh no. It's so fucked up. <laughs> but That's... it's really good. <laughs> it's really hilarious. <laughs> Cause it's so deadpan. Like it'll never pause and say that this is a comedic moment. It's like, yeah. just for you. It needs to and, be absurd enough that you can tell it's a yeah. joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good. It's good. Woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window. I can't I'm wait. Gonna wreck it. Oh my I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna super baby. watch it too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there you go. Who's next? Me, me, oh. me, me. Do it, Magoy. I will recommend a VTuber. Oh! Hey. oh. <laughs> okay. Not from the the acclaimed uh, brand Hololive. This is from the English um, generation of Niji Sanji, the other other, other brand. The other big agency. Yeah, I will recommend right. Rosemi Lovelock, who I found because she was streaming Master Duels. Sick! And I saw uh, this. she I saw enjoys this the name. Master Dueling so much that she played it for like four out of five days a week. Mm. And one Jeez. of the streams the week after was her buying a booster box. <laughs> <laughs> real Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Yeah, like a set that isn't even in Master Duels yet. Oh, sick. And Holy she was shit. so nervous that she ripped the box by mistake. Oh, <laughs> she was no. So oh, no. Oh, the no. cards are fine, but the box was ruined and she was shaking the whole time. Oh. Adorable. Oh. Okay. And I'm like, this is, she says, like, this is the first time I've bought cards. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sick. She enjoyed it's... Master Duel so much, she transitioned into the physical. Yeah, That's it's crazy. It's cute. Yeah. Fucking Master Duel's doing some weird things. Cute. Yeah, Rosemi Lovelock. Uh, not a lot of buzz about the, this group. I didn't know that they had an English division. Oh, yeah. But I do know the brand, mm-hmm. so that's cool. Mm-hmm. Niji Sanji. Niji Sanji. They're great. I know more VOMs than Niji Sanji. Niji Sanji. That's I no don't... fair. There's only three Voms. Yeah, I just know <laughs> of... I only know of the two, even. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's my rec. We will rec. put it in the description. Yeah. Nice. Thick. And How I guess you, that Emil? leaves me, yeah, baby. And uh, since since you did a Yu-Gi-Oh! rec, I will uh, do something similar as well. 
I will recommend a channel that I have been watching alongside my other rec from last week, which is Dual Logs. But uh, this week, I will recommend uh, uh, a channel called TGS Anime that I've been watching. You're you're shaking your head like you already know this, Migoy. <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> The British so, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, I've been watching this channel called TGS Anime, and it is a British man who just talks about Yu-Gi-Oh nonstop. Uh, I think I'm watching him for the same reason I'm watching Duologues, because I'm so new to Yu-Gi-Oh that I have so much to learn, and watching their videos has really helped in me learning a lot of things about Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, uh, for the top 10 stuff, I go to Duologues, but for other interesting things, I go to TGS Anime. So... His videos can vary anywhere from, like, explaining an entire archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, he'll have videos like mm. the, the Cyber Dragon archetype, the Eldritch archetype, uh, the something else archetype, the Ghost Trick archetype, right? Mm. And he'll explain every card in that archetype and what they do, and maybe even some lore behind it, right? Um, okay. Yu-Gi-Oh but facts. His, but his other videos are just like, uh, sometimes it'll just be him opening cards, playing Master Duel. But mm. his other interesting videos are calling out uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! anime shenanigans. Of like, times that the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime did not follow its own rules, or did not follow the rule set. Or like, sometimes he will have videos of like, was Astral about to defeat Yuma? Like, like did... Did 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 Yami Yugi misplay against <laughs> Yugi? Like oh, he wow. analyzes the in anime matches and analyzes yeah. yo, 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 Yami Yugi, you had that pot of greed in your hand the whole time. You should have started out the turn with that. What the fuck? Wow. You, you could have dealt more damage. Like like he will do <laughs> analysis like that. Optimized turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like cool. these anime fools are not playing the game correctly. Like they, he will like. They call don't it read out. their cards in the anime, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> And like sometimes he'll even point out stupid things in the anime, like um, kid made up logic, the kind of stuff you do like when you're a kid and playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Cool. It's like, like oh, yeah. uh, since we are in, at the beach, all my water monsters get plus two hundred attack, or like oh, I destroy your trap card, and since it was a castle floating in the sky, it will crash down and kill all of your monsters. Like that kind of stuff, you will point it out. It's super great. It's been really fun, but. The the super useful stuff for me has been his videos about art. I thought that was cool. That's cool though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's super cool. That's super. That's a lot cool. of content now, and if you think about it, because it is the a lot of content. Yu Gi Oh series is just mostly just bullshit. Uh, that bullshit was it. Rules, yeah, right? first gen Damn. dual monsters was fucking stupid shit. Like the the moon equipment spell that powers up wolves. Like oh, it rises the sea level, causing oh. your monsters <laughs> to drown. What do you call it? I wish I'm you can do that in Master Duel. Is that not true? <laughs> it's not. No, it's, it's not true. Not. It's, it's not. super not true. Damn it. <laughs> I mean, in, in the Commander so it, game, that's. Those are the coolest to things in the show. <laughs> no. It's super not true. Those super not real. Things in the show. What do you call it? I'm looking at his playlists right now. He has an entire playlist for just Master Duel. He has a playlist for Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Analysis. Who really won? Like he that's where he analyzes the anime matches. And he also has an entire playlist for Yu-Gi-Oh! archetypes, which is like 87 videos. So there's a lot to learn there. So I'm gonna wreck it. Uh, TGS anime. That's it. That's all the wrecks, baby. Nice. Finish us off, Rafi. Rafi! Nice. Man. Those are some good wrecks. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled out a katana there. Oh, okay. um, everyone. Is Rafi choppy? What's happening to Rafi? Rose? Oh, did, are you oh, just. You, you back, you back, you what? back. Am Is I the same up? thing that I... was happening to Migoy happening to Rafi right now? Sort of, sort of. Did Johnny Konami invade Rafi's oh, house? No, Johnny up? Konami like, again? Yes. Okay, Rafi's back, I think. R Rafi Is hasn't he back? played Duel Master. He's back, he's back. Is he back? Frozen. Oh, he's out again. What's going on? He's, he's, mid, he's in the process of breaking a bottle. Yeah, he's in the middle of breaking a bottle. <laughs> All right. I think <laughs> jazz hands. It's my life. Am I back? Jazz alive? Is life. I think you're alive. 
think you're back. Rafi, can I hear us? It's uh, chopping up. I'm jazzing yeah. right now. You're I chopping, you. baby. Wow, do I... You want us to... Oh, nope, he's gone. Oh, no, okay. he's back. Back. Is he better? I can't hear him. Hello? Hello, Rafi. Hello. Connecting. There he I'm is. I'm trying to connect. Oh my God. There we go. Did that back? I think Rafi's uh, back. Did that work? I there, guess. you yeah, are. Okay. You have returned. Okay. Okay. Better. Better. Much better. Much better. Wait. We were so oh, worried shit. about you. We thought like Johnny Konami got you. Yeah, you weren't even playing Master Duel. They already taxed you with more. Oh. Uh oh. It's happening it's again. It's happening again. We spoke Wait. too soon. Yeah. Oh my God, really? Really? Yeah. It's come back again? for a second and then it chops up again. Johnny Konami. Leave the boy alone. We got to go to the Shadow Realm and save him, Emil. We have to save anyway, him. Where's my dual disc? Do you, do you want us to end the show? Because <laughs> save me. Yeah, probably outro me, I guess. Oh, outro you're back. Him. Outro him. Yeah, outro yeah, yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess back. that is do a good wreck. And of course, if you guys have, if you guys want to listen to past episodes of Good Trades, you can always go to our Spotify channel, our Apple Podcast channel, our Google Podcast uh, channel, Stitcher uh, supplier. Wait, that's Magic Card. <laughs> but you know, anything, everything. Also, I think there's a new feature in Spotify where you can actually rate our podcast episode. So please, please, please give us rate a show. Give us a five, eleven. Please. Give us five stars or give us a thumbs up on our Spotify mm. channel. Eleven whatever, out of five. Um, <laughs> whatever the system is, we're not sure. So <laughs> we're not sure, but it's 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 there. Yeah, and of really? course, there's also our Facebook page, facebookcom slash Brigade. Mm-hmm. We're also on Twitter, GT Brigade at GT Brigade. Um, mm-hmm. We also have a YouTube and an Instagram, which we mm-hmm. haven't been able to update recently, but mm-hmm. we'll get there. Um, the most important thing is our Discord. <laughs> yeah, our yes. Discord. That's yeah, we can also join our Discord for. Uh, activities and you know uh, you could dump in recs and questions for our reader mail mm-hmm. so yeah go ahead and check us out uh, link of discord below in the details so yeah and also hey, Emil yes uh, if our listeners want to support the show where would they go they would probably go to www.patreon.com slash goodtradesbrigade. And for the price of a cup of café, as they say in France, uh, I, that Don has been doing French Duolingo. It's, uh, I've just been hearing <laughs> French all day. Uh, but, but they could support the show, keep us hard, keep us lubed up, keep us all nice and slippery, uh, and just like the fine people who already support us. Somebody Sorry. Pick us. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth. <laughs> Jern, Jern. You know, those <laughs> fine, fine people who keep this yes. show going. Yes, yes, yes. And if you are. would like to be another fine person who keeps us lubed, keeps us hard, keeps us nice and slippery, like I said, you can go to www.patreon.com slash goodtradesbrigade. I hate that you all you said that in stride. Like it didn't break like a character. Just you keep us hard. You keep us <laughs> just, <laughs> just yeah. up. Like just it's just part it of it. I'm He's used to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I think I'm back, but uh, it's just in time just to end the show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, follow us on those services, and yeah, we'll just keep it going. <laughs> Check your corners. <laughs> And make sure are you ambitious. Mm-hmm. I should get back on Duolingo. I'm 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 getting jealous of uh Donna and Rafi and his wife, like all Dude, doing the Duolingo. I got 34 crowns. 34 crowns? Is that a lot, Donna? Is 34 crowns a lot? Eh, it's all right. Intro-ish. What's yours? <laughs> Donna How wants many's to put like crowns on yours. Yeah, 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 yeah. Throw throw me under the bus. Let's go. Uh, how many <laughs> crowns, Donna? How many French crowns do you have? 211 French crowns. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she has 211 <laughs> crowns. What the fuck? I gotta go. Oh, wow. <laughs> I gotta go. Some that was a big bus everything. that she threw you under. 
Oh, platinum dude. rank. <laughs> what do you call it? <laughs> and I like Black how she rank. opened up with 36 ain't bad, but. <laughs> Five oh, times man. that amount. <laughs> More than God. five times that amount. That's God. great. Well done. Well done. I, well I, done. I have someone to chase on the leaderboards. <laughs> Keep it going, everyone. Keep it going. Keep going. Bye. 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 It's 34 crowns. Oh, for him. <laughs> rest in rest in. <laughs> Your goal is to be top one in Diamond League? I have 17. Yeah, Jesus there, Christ. There, 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 to yeah. Go and I'm just in oh, silver. Wow. Fuck. Competitive Duolingo <laughs> rank. Silver. I've got to oh, go dude. to the Duolingo website yeah. right now. Yeah, yo. Competitive because Duolingo and I have been doing game. ranked and master duel, but here you are doing ranked and Duolingo. Fuck. Well, yeah, so many dude. duels, dude. 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 Duolingo. Anyways, go. Stopping the recording. Duolingo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ending recording yeah. now. Oh, shit. I stopped it. Okay, I'm gonna clean up so the audio. Not, not bad, two hours. Not bad, two hours, but slash like, off mod. We'll be able to, yeah, we'll be able to edit more stuff from it. Yeah, mod forty-five. One hour and forty-five. One hour and thirty. Yeah, one hour and thirty. Yeah, one hour one hour 30, 30 I guess. So, what do you boys? Than... Now that we've done it twice, what do you boys think of the timer method? Works. It helps. Pretty good. It really for helps, the right? two things, the two topics per. Mm -hmm. so no, it does the thing. Sick. And if ever, uh, I just got word back that Mapo push oh, wait, back. We're still, still streaming. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. I stream. Bye, Bye, stream. Bye.